good morning to all today you are going to discuss about optimization goals and figure of merit in unit 2 sensor networks so in optimization goals and figure of merit for all the wireless sensor network scenarios and application types we will be having some challenges what are the challenges is first one is how to optimize a network and second one is how to decide which approach is better third one is how to turn relatively inaccurate optimization goals into figure of merit for all the above questions the general answer is based on the these four parameters one should be the quality of service second one should be the energy efficiency third one should be the scalability and fourth one should be the robustness So first is scalability. So what is scalability? The size of the network can be changed. Either the number of nodes should be added or the number of nodes should be decreased. So that is nothing but the scalability. So the ability to maintain performance characteristics irrespective of the size of the network is considered to be the scalability. With wireless sensor network, potentially there are thousands of nodes, we as we know. So obviously the scalability is an important parameter. So the need for extreme scalability is for the protocol design. Often the penalty in performance or complexity has to be paid for small networks. So better it should be having a higher network. So the essential requirement. our aim is based on the architecture and protocols which will be needed okay, so a few nodes must get more efficient solutions than your thousands of nodes that is also a very important parameter second one should be the quality of service so what should be the quality of service so uh, as all expect whatever things you are going to get you will be expecting a high quality so what should be the services of offered so compared to the wired network the quality of service we can't expect as that much in your wireless sensor network so based on that we are going to uh, give some uh, quality of service possibilities one is event detection and reporting probability what is the meaning of event detection and or reporting probability so the probability that a event that actually occurred is detected Are reported to the sync means that is event detection or reporting probability. Second one is the event classification error. Events not only to detect but also be classified. For example, I told you in the uh, types of mobility there will be more number of wild animals in a forest. Each wild animals is separately classified and reported means. that will be nothing but even classification so with a small error we will be expecting and the third thing is even detection delay it is the delay between the even detection and reporting to the interested thing but this will be majority based on the application example of rescue or emergency operation and and fire is detected and the information is passed if the delay means it is not at all going to give you a goal you are going not not at all going to achieve your goal so that is nothing but even detection delay then missing reports what is the meaning of missing reports so if some of the reports or some of the messages are lost and delivered means it is affecting your goal then the approximation accuracy so approximation accuracy so for function approximation application certain applications the average or maximum absolute of relative error with respect to the actual function is taken so average or maximum absolute or relative error must be approximated then tracking accuracy in tracking application so to uh, trace an object or you are going to track an object it must not miss an object to be tracked the error should be small next is robustness what is the meaning of robustness so wireless sensor network should exhibit a high robust 
what it should not fail the number of nodes should not fail with a run out of energy that is because of the battery failure the particular network cannot able to fail we have to maintain in such a case it should be always operated that is nothing but the row process if possible these are failures have to be compensated by finding other rows whenever it is failed next is the energy efficiency that is the fourth important optimization goal which has a major role in many application so energy consumption we have studied as a separate topic in that we have studied what are the methodologies we are using for energy consumption so based on that energy is a precious resource in wireless sensor networks and that energy efficiency should be taken as an evident optimization goal you should cover all the areas so we are telling it is an umbrella term so the most commonly considered aspects are energy required per correctly received bit so for one bit of data what should be the amount of information it is taken energy per reported unique event for example event means all the entire things so what is the uh, application you are doing so for that what should be the average amount of energy required what should be the delay or energy delay? so both are interconnected if the particular reports are generated speedily that requires more energy compared to your normal smaller applications then comes the network lifetime so the lifetime of the network without any failure it is able to operate with fully connected means it is network lifetime then time to first node death so when does the first node in the network run out of energy it will be how much time it is required it is also going to give you an optimization then how much amount of nodes in the network is functioning with 50% lifetime or 50% nodes run out of energy and stop operating means what is that time which is considered to be network half life then time to partition when does the first partition of the network in two disconnected parts will be taken means it is considered to be again you are uh, one of the optimization parameter next parameter is time to loss of coverage what is time to loss of coverage it is nothing but your redundant network deployment can occur within the region so for example the certain applications we are telling the bluetooth can operate up to 10 meter so that is one uh, major thing so without that region we are going to lose this coverage region so the, what is the spot exactly it should be without any uh, loss in the uh, coverage region you are going to operate then this last thing is time to failure of first event notification so when the first event is failed if the notification to the sync node is getting without any delay means that is another one optimization node. so that is nothing but the energy efficiency so we have discussed some of the optimization goals and figure of money one should be the quality of service second one should be the energy efficiency third one should be the scalability and fourth one should be the robustness in this the energy of energy efficiency it will be playing a major role while going for your optimization goals because it will be going to connect your entire network without any loss thank you